welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you how to make an embroidery hoop wreath. This is a versatile project that you can personalize for different seasons, fall, Halloween, Christmas and more. For this project I'm going to use Cricut Maker but you could also use Cricut Explore or Cricut Joy. You will also need a Cricut Easy Press. Now let's begin! For this project you will need a 14 inch embroidery hoop iron-on, I'm using Cricut Everyday iron-on the fabric of your preference, I'm using 100% cotton canvas wire edge ribbons pipe cleaners and fake greenery the first thing I'm going to do is trace embroidery hoop on the fabric later this is going to help me to place the iron-on in the right place I want to show you a couple of examples of the kind of designs you can use for this project. Today I'm going to make this welcome sign. You could customize it by adding your last name. These are for Halloween and these are for Christmas. The possibilities are endless. All of these images are from Cricut Access. To use these images in your project, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. For this project, I'm going to use this image from Cricut Access that I modified to have a thicker stroke. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. Now click on make it. Since I'm using iron on, I have to mirror the image. Activate the mirror button. Now click on continue. Select the material I'm using Cricut iron on. Low Define Point Blade and the mat. Place the iron on with the shiny side facing down. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut this piece took 1 minute 40 seconds. Now I'll start weeding. I'm in Cricut Easy Press Guide. These are the settings for the material I'm using. Temperature 340 degrees Fahrenheit, time 30 seconds, although I prefer to use 45 seconds. Light pressure, flip and press for 15 seconds, and cool peel. Set the temperature and time in the Easy Press. I'm going to use a temperature of 340 degrees Fahrenheit and a time of 45 seconds. While my easy press reaches the right temperature, I'm going to remove any wrinkles from the fabric. Experience had taught me that if I use a lean roller with this material, I get a better result. As you can see, my easy press has reached the desired temperature. I'm going to move it to the side to have more space. The trace line I did at the beginning will help me to place the design in the best position. Fold the design in half to mark the center and put it in the desired position. Cover it with a piece of parchment or teflon paper. The Cricut Easy Press Guide recommends a 30 second press, however experience has again taught me I will get a better result with a 45 second press when my Easy Press covers the whole design, which means there will only be one pass on each side. If I was using a smaller Easy Press, the design will require more passes, then I will stick to use a 30 second press. Now flip it and press it for 15 seconds. Let it cool completely for 1 to 2 minutes. Now that it's entirely cool, remove the backing. Done! As you can see, the transfer was impeccable. Now I'm going to place the fabric inside the embroidery hoop. Loosen up the screw on top to remove the inner ring. 
Place the inner ring behind the fabric and align it to the trace line we did initially. Place the top ring. Make sure the fabric is tight. Now tighten the screw. Cut the extra fabric on the back side. Finally, I'm going to place the decoration on the top area. I'm going to make a bow. To get the best results, I recommend using a wire edge ribbon. There are different techniques to make a bow. Use the one you like the most. I'm going to make a bow with three loops on each side. Make a loop and pinch it at the bottom. I'm going to make another loop with a piece of ribbon of about 8 inches, pinch it and bring it back to the center. I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side. Now I will make four more loops the same way I did in the previous. Now that I have three loops on each side, I'm going to tie the bow with the pipe cleaner. Make the tails with a 20 inch piece, cut it, bring the ribbons end to the center and tie it together with the pipe cleaner. Cut the ribbon to make the tails, fold it in half and cut it diagonally. Place it over the reed to see if you have to modify the bow dimensions. I'm going to cut the tails a little shorter. I think the size is perfect. Before placing the rest of the embellishment, I will pass a twine piece to hand the reed. If you want, you can glue the embellishment direct into the reed. I'm going to glue it to a piece of balsa wood. I was planning to put a piece of velcro in this area, but I didn't have it on hand, so I'm going to use hot glue. If you use velcro, it gives you the ability to switch decorations anytime you want. Finally, glue the greenery. As you can see the reed looks fantastic, you can make them as a gift for your family and friends. I hope you like this project and if you make it, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I love to see it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in a Cricut machine or an AC press, I'm going to share the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.